Hi everyone, I'm Obi from Middle Eats and I'm back with this week's Middle Eastern recipe. Today, I'll be showing you how to cook Kibda Skandarani or Alexandrian liver from scratch. The stir fried liver sandwiches hail from Alexandria on the Mediterranean coast of Egypt. Sandwiches are so popular you can find them at any street food vendor all over the country. The tangy marinade and tahina sauce can win over any liver hater and they go perfectly together in a soft bread roll. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can catch next week's Middle Eastern recipe. Now let's get started. So first thing we'll do is prep all our ingredients we'll need for the dish. Start off by slicing a few lemons and juicing them. You'll need 3 tablespoons of lemon juice total. Next you'll slice a few green chilies into circles. You can make the dish as spicy as you want. I'm adding in some small bird's eye chilies as well for some extra heat. You'll need half to a full cup of sliced chilies. Next, you'll need to mince 13 cloves of garlic. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's key to the flavour of the dish. Here's a simple hack that will save you loads of time. Place a whole head of garlic on your chopping board with the roots facing to one side. Slice above the root section so that you remove the lower tip of each clove. Then use a heavy object or your garlic mincer to hit each clove a little hard. This will cause the peel of each clove to separate from the clove itself. Most cloves will just fall out of the peel if you shake them at this point. Any annoying or stuck peel, just pull it off the normal way. If you know a better way of mass peeling garlic, leave a comment down below. Now go ahead and mince all your cloves of garlic. To prepare the liver, you'll need to cut it into small strips. This is traditionally done with beef liver, but I'm using lamb liver instead. Grab a piece of liver and lay it flat onto a cutting board. Then slice the piece vertically into strips, slightly thicker than a pencil. Cut any long pieces of liver horizontally so that they're about 5 cm or 2 inches long. Make sure to remove any gristly or veiny bits when cutting it. Once you've sliced all your liver, place it in a bowl and then pour over enough water to cover it and add a couple tablespoons of white vinegar. Give it a quick mix and then let it stand for at least 15 minutes. This step will give the liver a cleaner taste. While that's sitting, we can prepare the marinade. So place 6 minced garlic cloves in a small bowl and add a tablespoon of white vinegar to it. Next, add in 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter of a teaspoon of chilli powder. Mix it all together into a uniform paste. When your liver has sat for 15 minutes, drain it and then add the marinade to it. Give it a good mix so all of the liver is well coated in the marinade, then let it sit for at least 1 hour but preferably 2. While it's marinating, you can prepare the tahina sauce that we'll be serving with the liver. Add 70 grams each of tahini and yogurt to a bowl or blender. You can use any kind of yogurt here as we'll adjust the consistency later. Next, add in 1 teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon each of black pepper, chilli powder and cumin. Next, add in a tablespoon of lemon juice and half a tablespoon of white vinegar. Finally, add in 2 cloves of minced garlic. Mix it all together until it has a fairly thick, uniform consistency and colour. When that happens, you can start adding your water in slowly. Now the end goal here is to have a liquid but not runny sauce, kind of like a thin Alfredo sauce. Add some room temperature water, maybe 30 milliliters or so to your mixture, and then give it a mix till all the water has been incorporated into the sauce. Keep adding water in small amounts at a time until a smooth and creamy sauce forms. When that happens, make sure to taste it for seasoning and adjust any of the spices or liquids till it tastes bright and tangy, then set it aside. When the liver has marinated for an hour or two, we can start cooking it. Add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to a heavy pan on a medium high heat, and then add five cloves of minced garlic to it. Add your chilies to the frying pan and cook the two together for a few minutes until the garlic is fragrant and you can smell the aroma of the chilies. Go ahead and pour your marinated liver into the pan, then stir the chilies and liver together. Next, add in one and a half teaspoons of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Keep mixing and cooking the liver and it will release quite a bit of water into the pan. Your liver should be cooked after about five minutes. You'll know it's ready when it's no longer pink and the pieces have evenly browned. Don't cook the liver for any longer than 7 minutes as it will dry out. Overcooked liver is definitely not a memorable experience. Once you've taken the liver off the heat, add in 2 tablespoons of lemon juice and 2 tablespoons of white vinegar and give it one final mix. You can serve this with rice, but the traditional way to serve it is in soft and airy bread rolls called fino bread. 
These are some milk rolls I made earlier and they have the perfect texture for this. Slice your rolls open but make sure not to slice all the way through as this is a saucy sandwich and you don't want it spilling. Add in a tablespoon or two of that delicious tahina sauce we made earlier. Finally, add in a few tablespoons of your cooked liver. Spread it evenly and add some of the juices from the pan as well. To give each one a bit of an extra kick, I've added some raw chili slices into each sandwich. So that's how to make delicious Alexandrian liver sandwiches. It's my favorite way of eating liver, and if you give this recipe a try, I'm sure it will be your favorite too. I'm looking for more recipe ideas, so if you have a dish you'd like me to cook, leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. As usual, all the ingredients and directions are in the description box below, and I'll be back next week with another recipe.